So, how did Arsenal's pre-season go? Hmm. Well, it is only a pre-season, thank God. Um, they flew all the way to Australia, played a couple of teams over there that on paper were poor and um, and that showed. Obviously, pre-season is more about just getting patterns of play and, and formations and bedding in new players if you've got any, which we did have. Um, but all in all, I'm not filled with loads of confidence for the season, although I am quite excited for the new season. Um, obviously, after we went to Australia, we then flew out to China, which I think was a stupid decision. But that being said, obviously with the humidity being about 99, the players would have definitely felt that one. And obviously we see um, we see Lacazette score his first goal in pre-season as well. And then today we've seen him score his first goal at the Emirates, which is always good because when you spend out nearly 50 million quid on a striker, you want him to hit the ground running. So it's nice that our striker's got off the mark and he scored two goals for the club. Um, you know, it's hard to it's hard to judge these games really because the level of opposition you're playing varies from game to game. Obviously, you're playing teams out in Australia that are nowhere near our level, and then you go over to China and you play Chelsea and Bayern Munich back to back, and you realise it's a step up in class. Although we did beat Bayern Munich on penalties, yeah, we beat a German team on penalties. Not often we uh, we see an English team scoring winning penalties, is it? So. So yeah, we then obviously had the Emirates Cup this weekend. Um, to be honest with you, I thought yesterday when we played against Benfica, I thought our defence was sloppy, which I think it has been on all of the games so far. Uh, you know, even some of some of the chances the Australian teams had. You know, you're sitting there thinking, oh, okay, but then you, you give them a little pass on that because obviously it's pre-season, but. It is kind of worrying, and again today, there was so many times that Sevilla just got in behind us. I mean, their goal was a classic example of that. You know, it's just typical Arsenal. Um, yeah, we're great going forward at times, but the defensive side of our game is really worrying. But um, standout performers for me on this tour and the Emirates Cup, um, I think that... I think Rhys Nelson's come to the forefront and and I think he's going to have an exceptional future ahead of him if he keeps himself grounded, if he keeps getting chances. Um, I, I actually think that if he's, if, if he's good enough, he's old enough, regardless of his age, he's only 17, I, I'd keep him in the squad. I wouldn't be loaning him out. I know a lot of people have said about loaning him out. There's no way I would loan the kid out. I'd keep him. I'd use him in the Cups, I'd use him in the Europa League, and I'd throw him on for the odd appearance in the Premier League. You know, if we're coasting a game 2 or 3-0, yes, I know that's hard to believe, but if we are coasting a game 2 or 3-0, then chuck him on. Start him in the odd game here and there. But, yeah, he's definitely, definitely got something about him. His, his crosses are exceptional, and, you know, when, when we've had the likes of Theo Walcott just thrashing balls across the box aimlessly over the years, it's actually refreshing to to see a young kid that's got so much potential that can actually deliver a proper cross. Um, I think awobi has been our best player on the tours um, that I've seen in Australia, China, and then obviously again at the Emirates. I think he's been fantastic. Um, it looks like he's bulked up a bit as well. He, he looks like he's put a bit of size on. Um, little shout out to Theo Walcott I'm one of his biggest critics but yesterday I thought he was fantastic he scared the life out of them Benfica players every time he got the ball um, and he was just a constant threat but again with Theo Walcott the problem is doing it consistently over a period of time um, yes it's great doing it in pre-season but it's doing it for a whole 38 game league season which is where a lot of our players fall down um, in terms of whether I think we're ready, not too sure, to be honest with you. Obviously, we move on to the Community Shield next Sunday, um, which I'm actually going to. So that should be nice to meet up with some, some old friends that I haven't seen for a while. And, um, you know, last time I went to Wembley, we beat Chelsea. So let's hope I'm the lucky charm again. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited, but I'm kind of wary at the same time because I've seen... I've seen certain things that make alarm bells ring with me, and it's definitely defensively. Um, I know that, obviously, we haven't had Mustafi playing. I know Alexis Sanchez hasn't been playing at all. Um, 
but you know El Nenny at centre back is a big big worry for me I, I don't know why he keeps playing him there because he must have plans to be playing him there for a Premier League game at some point because he wouldn't keep chucking him in there same with Maitland Niles that kid is a right winger he keeps playing him at right centre back left centre back yesterday he played him and you know it's a, it's sad really because it just dents the kid's confidence because you know, everyone on social media then rips the boy to pieces when it's not his position. You know, that's like putting, it's like putting Alexi Sanchez at right back. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. But at the same time, I'm not going to be too negative because it is just pre-season. But I am cautious. I don't think we're going to win the league. I don't think we've done any, anything near enough to even challenge for the title, to be honest with you. But... You know, I've been proved wrong many times, so let's hope that the old man proves me wrong again. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you um, if, if you like the video. Let me know um, what players you'd sign, because obviously the transfer window is still open. Yes, it is still open. I know Arsenal don't tend to do much in a window, but it is still open. Smash the like button to pieces. I appreciate every single one of you that does that. And if you haven't subscribed... Smash the subscribe button. I've got plenty of content coming all season. Previews, reviews. Um, obviously, if we sign some players, I'll be doing videos on that as well. Um, any players leave, then I'll be dropping videos on that as well. So um, stick your comments down below. And thanks very much for watching. You all enjoy the rest of your weekend.